guys! Today I'm going to show you how to clean your oven naturally with baking soda and vinegar. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this isn't an exact science, but I'm going to go ahead and add a cup of baking soda, about six tablespoons of water, and then just a splash, a couple, not even a splash, just a couple drops of some dish soap. And then we're going to go ahead and mix it all up. So mine was just a little bit too thick, so I added a little bit more water to get it kind of to this paste consistency. You can see it's nice and thick. And you don't have to add an exact measurement. You can kind of just mix it until you get this consistency. Okay, so here we are at the oven. I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like on the inside. So here's what we're starting with. Now I'm putting the paste that I made out of the baking soda and water into the oven. I like to use an old sponge so that way if it gets uh, gross I can go ahead and just throw it away. Don't worry if you start to run out. You can always go and make more. I'm focusing on the bottom of my oven because I clean my oven regularly but sometimes things cook over and then get stuck on. Now once you're done putting the paste on, you're going to want to let it sit for a while. I like to let it sit overnight, but today I don't have that much time and so I'm just going to let it sit for a few hours and then we're going to move on to the next step of cleaning your oven naturally. Okay guys, so it is much, much later in the day and I am back and we're going to go ahead and start cleaning the paste out. So starting off, I'm taking a spray bottle that's got distilled white vinegar in it and I am spraying everywhere that the paste was and making sure it's nice and moist with it. Now I'm taking a metal stainless steel metal scratch pad and you can get them, I got mine, I got a pack of two at Dollar General for $1.35, they're really inexpensive and I'm just taking that and rubbing it um, all over and if there's anywhere that's got anything really cooked on I'm just using that to rub it off. Now I've got a bowl of really hot water next to me and a rag and I'm just using that to wipe up the paste that's left over in the oven. And once I am done cleaning all the paste out, what I recommend you do is take that distilled white vinegar again and spray it all over and wipe it out again because the white vinegar will just kind of make sure that you don't get that film and paste, you know, layer of baking soda in there which you don't want and after you're all done with that your oven is going to be sparkling and clean don't forget to put your oven racks back inside whenever you're done and you'll be ready to go for another day all right guys so there you have it that's how you can clean your oven naturally with baking soda and vinegar if you like this video don't forget don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below i hope to see you guys again bye